Maverick's riveting encapsulation tale of Starbucks and McDonald's. Of coffee beans and golden arches. Once upon a time in a bustling world of fast food chains and coffee shops, two giants emerged, each with their own unique identity and offerings. These two establishments, Starbucks and McDonald's, found different paths to success in the food and beverage market, with distinctive approaches to attracting and retaining their loyal customers. In the land of the Golden Arches, McDonald's began its journey as a small drive-in restaurant in the 1940s. Its founders, the McDonald brothers, sought to provide quick, convenient, and affordable meals to the masses. As the business grew, McDonald's became synonymous with fast food, offering a diverse menu of burgers, fries, and other delectable items that filled stomachs with warm, satisfying food at reasonable prices. Their primary focus was on speed, value, and consistency. On the other side of town, Starbucks, founded in 1971, began as a single store selling high-quality coffee beans and brewing equipment in Seattle. Its founders, Jerry Baldwin, Zev Siegel, and Gordon Boker, were united by their passion for coffee and a shared vision to offer a unique coffee experience to their customers. As Starbucks expanded, it redefined the coffee shop experience by transforming it into a third place, a cozy space between home and work where people could relax, socialize, and enjoy expertly crafted beverages. Over the decades, both companies found themselves facing various challenges and opportunities. McDonald's, having been in business for over 80 years, amassed a vast portfolio of properties, sparking debates among industry analysts. Some suggested that McDonald's should separate its property company from its fast food operations, believing that doing so might double the company's market valuation. However, McDonald's chose to maintain its current structure, focusing on its core fast food business and remaining steadfast in its identity. Meanwhile, Starbucks saw opportunities to expand its reach beyond its brick-and-mortar stores. The company began distributing its branded beverages through grocery stores, tapping into a new revenue stream worth billions. This move allowed Starbucks to bring its coffee experience to customers' homes, further solidifying its position as a global coffee leader. The culture difference between Starbucks and McDonald's was apparent in their approach to customer service and store policies. Starbucks prided itself on creating a welcoming atmosphere where customers could spend hours at a time, whether they were studying, working, or catching up with friends. McDonald's, on the other hand, was more focused on quick service and high customer turnover, making it less conducive to long, leisurely visits. Starbucks distinguished itself from McDonald's by focusing on the overall experience and ambiance of their stores. The soothing sound of steam frothing milk, the aroma of freshly ground coffee beans, and the dimly lit interiors with comfortable seating created an inviting atmosphere that encouraged customers to linger and unwind. This atmosphere was a stark contrast to the bright lights and bustling activity found at McDonald's, where customers would often grab their meals and be on their way. In addition to ambiance, Starbucks placed a strong emphasis on the quality of their coffee, sourcing beans from around the world and roasting them to perfection. The baristas, clad in their signature green aprons, were trained to craft each beverage with precision and care, ensuring that every cup of coffee was a work of art. 
Starbucks menu featured an ever-evolving array of coffee and tea beverages, as well as pastries and snacks, often tailored to the tastes and preferences of the local market. Meanwhile, McDonald's built its reputation on offering a uniform menu, with the same classic items available at every location around the world. This consistency and familiarity made McDonald's an easy choice for customers seeking a quick, reliable meal. However, as the world evolved and customers' tastes shifted, McDonald's began to adapt, offering specialty coffee drinks and premium menu items in an attempt to compete with Starbucks and other coffee shops. The introduction of McCafe, McDonald's own line of espresso-based drinks, showcased their efforts to cater to the growing demand for higher quality coffee options. Yet, Starbucks continued to differentiate itself by consistently innovating and expanding its offerings. They introduced seasonal drinks, such as the pumpkin spice latte, which became a cultural phenomenon. Starbucks also ventured into the world of tea with the acquisition of Tivana, broadening their beverage options and appealing to a wider range of customers. They even explored healthier food options, incorporating protein boxes, salads, and fruit smoothies into their menu. Another key factor that set Starbucks apart was its commitment to ethical sourcing and environmental sustainability. They implemented the Coffee and Farmer Equity CAFE, practices, which established guidelines for responsible coffee purchasing and aimed to improve the lives of coffee farmers. Starbucks also encouraged customers to use reusable cups and launched initiatives to reduce waste in their stores. Both Starbucks and McDonald's recognized the importance of technology in enhancing the customer experience. Starbucks created a user-friendly mobile app that allowed customers to order and pay ahead, and even earn rewards through their loyalty program. McDonald's also embraced technology, introducing self-order kiosks and implementing mobile ordering through their app. As the years went by, both companies continued to innovate, striving to stay relevant in an ever-changing market. McDonald's began incorporating more sustainable practices, such as using cage-free eggs and sourcing beef from suppliers with sustainable practices. They also expanded their menu to include a variety of healthier options, such as salads and grilled chicken sandwiches. Starbucks, always pushing the envelope, experimented with new store formats, including Starbucks Reserve Roastery, a high-end concept that showcased the art and science of coffee roasting and brewing. They also partnered with other companies to launch innovative products, such as the Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew, which captured the attention of coffee enthusiasts worldwide. The story of Starbucks and McDonald's teaches us that success in the food and beverage industry requires a keen understanding of one's market positioning and a willingness to adapt and innovate. Both companies have proven that it is possible to thrive in a competitive landscape by staying true to their core values while embracing change and meeting the evolving needs of their customers. In a world where corporations often dictate the experiences of customers, Starbucks and McDonald's manage to create their own distinct niches. Starbucks focused on providing an immersive and relaxing experience, while McDonald's aimed to deliver speed, affordability, and consistency. Their contrasting approaches to business allowed each company to attract different audiences and cater to their unique preferences. By leveraging their respective strengths, 
Starbucks and McDonald's have managed to coexist and thrive in the highly competitive food and beverage industry. Their success can be attributed to their unwavering commitment to their core values, adaptability to change, and constant pursuit of innovation. These attributes, combined with their relentless drive to provide the best possible experience for their customers, have secured their places as global icons in the world of fast food and coffee shops. As the sun sets on another day in this land of fast food and coffee shops, the giants continue to stand tall, each offering their own unique experience. That keeps customers coming back for more. And so, the tale of Starbucks and McDonald's serves as a testament to the power of creativity, adaptability, and an unwavering dedication to one's identity, no matter the challenges that lie ahead.